This is a tutorial on how to create a drop down menu with three different colored arrows. Um, we're going to use red, yellow, and green for our example. Um, it's important to note, though, before we start, that um, when the person has the drop down menu, those will still show as black. They won't actually change color until the person selects a given arrow. Um, as far as I know, there's no way to actually change the color in the drop down menu. Um, you can only change it once it's selected. But with that being said, let's get started. Um, the first step is to select three cells. Um, usually you'll do it on another sheet, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm just gonna do it on this sheet. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt 24 to create, oops, I hit Alt to me. Press and hold Alt and 24 for the up arrow, Alt 25 for the down area arrow, and Alt 29 for the sideways facing area arrow. And uh, it's important to note when I push the numbers, I'm using a keypad that looks like a calculator that you'll see on a lot of key keyboards. If you don't have that type, um, you can't use the uh, numbers at the top row. It won't it won't work as a shortcut. So you'll have to find the uh, appropriate symbols in the font, um, which I'm not familiar with. Um, so hopefully you have the same type of keyboard. Um, now what we're going to do is select the cell that we want the drop down menu. Let's do B3, and then we're going to go to data, data validation, click data val validation, and we're gonna allow from a list, and the source of our list will be right here, and we're gonna hit okay. So now we have a drop down menu with the three arrows. And like I said, these are gonna remain black no matter what we do but once we select an arrow we're going to get it to change color and we're going to do that by conditional formatting um, so we're going to go into the home tab conditional formatting new rule and we're going to pick format cells that contain equal to and we're going to choose the same let's do the up arrow first and we're going to format the up arrow. Got a little leg here. To green. And we're going to make it bold. Hit OK. OK. Conditional formatting, new rule. Same steps here for the down arrow. Equal to. Alt 25 format. We're going to make that red and bold. Okay. And one last one. Cells that contain equal to Alt 29 for the sideways facing arrow. And yellow is pretty hard to see, so I'm gonna make this more orangish color actually and make that bold. And as you can already see here, our, our arrow has turned green because the person has selected it. In the drop down, it's still black, unfortunately, but we see that it changes once the user selects it. So obviously you can do that with any letter or any text or um, other shapes that you want to use. Um, and uh, I hope this helps in a use case that you have. Thanks a lot for watching.